Hello everybody, so today I'm reviewing two Arrow Blu-rays. Uh, I've just done the Audition Steelbook, now I'm moving on to the Zardos film. Uh, so there's a little story behind this, I saw, I think it was on Blu-ray.com that there was a Zardos uh, Steelbook uh, available from Amazon. The German Amazon, Amazon.de. Uh, and it was only, it was under 10 euros, so I thought I would get that. Uh, because this one, most places, it's about 20 pounds. I don't know if that was the original price. Or if it's just shot up but uh, I didn't fancy paying 20 pounds just for a one disc blu-ray so yeah I was nearly going to check out when I thought I'll just um, see how much this is going for uh, the yellow version on uh, eBay and I saw that there was one uh, free shipping for £15 and I really did fancy the Arrow version because the other one did not feature the booklet or the reversible artwork and that is a feature on the Arrow uh, Blu-rays that I really do like so I decided to change my steel book over to the arrow uh, even though I think the steel book had the majority if not all of the special uh, features uh, so just before I open this I've still got some glue from the steel book got to get rid of that Praise be to Zardos has to be one of the weirdest films. Uh, Sean Connery in a thong with a ponytail. I'm sure there'll be some pictures of that inside. Uh, new 4K digital restoration by 20th Century Fox, supervised and approved by John Borman. High definition, Blu-ray presentation, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Audio commentary with writer, producer, director, John Borman. Brand new interviews with Borman, actor, Sarah Kesselman, producer, designer, Anthony Pratt. Uh, special effects creator Jerry Johnston, uh, camera operator Peter McDonald, assistant director Simon Ralph, hair stylist Colin Jameson. That should be interesting, seeing as Sean Connery looked absolutely, well, really weird in this film. Production manager Seamus. Burn and assistant editor Alan Jones newly filmed appreciation appreciation with director Ben Wheatley theatrical trailer radio spots reversible sleeve featuring original and newly com commissioned artwork by Matthew Griffin uh, collector's booklet containing new writing on the film by Julian Upton and Adrian Smith plus archive interviews illustrated with original production stills. So the film is 106 minutes, aspect ratio 235.1, audio 3.0 uh, language Engli English and subtitles English so let's get this open there was um, a sticker there with the uh, price tag so it must have been bought in store but 
I think I got a bargain compared to how much it is going for online. I had this in my uh, Amazon cart for ages, I just never pulled the trigger and actually bought it. Ever since it was announced, I wanted it. Ah, came off quite easy. Ah, so contamination. Got an art card there. And all the other ones. Quite a thick booklet, booklet as well. So yeah, <laughs> very weird. The year is 2293. And Sean Connery is Z, not Z. Floating heads. So we got a uh, future imperfect by Julian Upton, John Borman interview, 1985, uh, Three Dimensional Maze of Ice and Fire, the novelization of Zardoz, Recollections, and about the transfer, and this is probably the most famous picture from the film, still at least. Sean Connery with a ponytail and a thong loincloth, don't know what you call it, boots and a gun. Classic. There's a brilliant Lego figure made of him wearing that costume. I haven't seen this film in absolute ages. about as far as away from Bond as you can get. I did receive um, another Blu-ray today from Canada, but for some reason there was a cock up and I had to pay customs because they put the shipping on top of the actual, actual cost of the item, but uh, Amazon have refunded me $50 more than I actually paid, so that's quite nice. And I will be receiving it tomorrow and reviewing it tomorrow. So that was the back of the steel book, if I remember correctly. The actual steel book cover was something like that. Not exactly the same, but pretty much. It was it was okay, but. Uh, wasn't that great it would have cost the same as just getting this with uh, shipping I think shipping was about five pounds or so so let's turn this inside out I think I might prefer this actually
Yeah, I think I prefer that. It's more exciting at least. The Blu-ray just contains the same artwork as the reversible cover. I'll leave it like that I think. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing this again. I can't remember last time I saw it. Pretty freaked out by it. All made sense in the end though and you look back and you think oh yeah why didn't I see that coming but I'm not going to spoil it or anything of course so that is Zardos uh, I will leave a link to the eBay seller down below if anyone is interested in getting this I would and I'll also leave a link to the uh, German still book. Uh, I would get hold of it while you can because I think this is just going to keep on climbing in price. Anyway, enough of me chit chatting. Uh, please leave a link, uh, comment below if you have seen this film and what you think of it. And which would you choose? Would you choose the MOA? arrow version or the German steelbook. Take care for now. Peace to all. Bye.